Hi there, uh, welcome back. So for today, uh, let's continue our discussion from the previous one. So we're going to talk about order of rows and columns in the matrix or in a matrix. So we have here a three by four matrix, which are initialized with, uh, which are initialized by uh, the given numbers, as you can see. So this is uh, yeah three by four, and we have already discussed about three and columns. So basically this is a three by four matrix. Uh, we can actually like uh, do this as like three, uh, three, that's a three by, and then we'll have here val zero, that length, something like that. Okay. And now we're going to, uh, we, if you guys want to, of course, access the, the elements of our, in our matrix or in our arrays or two dimensional arrays. You are, you are going to use the, of course, two indices now. So this is the row index and this is the column index. So let's have here val, uh, zero, and zero. And that is going to access this value right here, which is three. Okay. So that's it. And then this one right here, four, let's uh, access this one. Um, this is um, 0, 1, 2. So this is the index uh, row 2. Okay. So that is row 2 and that is column uh, 2. So in order for us to display that value. So 4, there you are. So if you guys want to access the uh, this 8 right here. So this is first uh, column 1 and column 2. Okay. So let's run the program. And we have here there. Uh, we have there eight. Okay. So now let's um, let's what they call this one. Let's display the uh, the numbers into our uh, our screen. So by using loops, of course, arrays and loops are married uh, with each other, are married to each other. So let's have here. Let's say I uh, since I represents the row of an array so let's have here i is less than val dot length which is the row and then let's have here i plus plus and let's have here another one so we have j to uh, represent the column okay the column index of our uh, what they call this one two-dimensional array so we have here j uh, less than val so you can use any uh any index to represent to get the the what they call this one the column so length and then we'll have here j plus plus so there you are and then so this is the end of um inner loop and this is the end of outer loop so basically we use nested loops here a loop within a loop okay so you must uh, have encountered this uh, um what they call this one nested loops of course in our previous discussion so right here if we are going to display the numbers let's say uh yeah before i'm going to put that in a third party variable or like hold let's have it here first muna let's print it here so let's have your val and then let's have i uh, i and then let's have J, and then let's, uh, uh, what they call this one, let's separate it with uh, using the delimiter backslash T, and then after that, we're going to uh, mix, to separate it with uh, every row with the next space, parang line space, okay? And then there, I guess that's it. So let's run our um, program now. So we have here three, uh, three, five, seven, nine, four, ten, eight, six, two, three, four, and fifteen. And of course, um, since I have declared here a third par party variable hold, so I'm just going to make this one like hold plus. This is one of the techniques I am using, particularly in dealing with um, arrays. Okay or in my program, I usually do this. So we have here, backslash, and so this time we can now 
uh, display this in uh, in J auction pane or in a uh, UI component. So, oops, we never display it there. So, and then let's make use also of J auction pane that show message. And I'm going to give you two uh, two J option pane. Uh, the first one is going to have new J text area. So, so J, the J text area is like Notepad. It's a text area now. So it's like Notepad. And in order for backslash T to work uh, on our display, we'll need J text area in our show message dialog. It's it's actually it's it, it's uh, actually a family of J, uh, J option pane, which is under Swing component. So let's um, change this into multiple declaration and let's run our program. So this is our output there. Okay. And I'm just going to wait. So run, run, run. So this is the output in a uh, console. And this is the output without JTEX area. So it's a little bit messy, although it's okay. But with using the the idea of JTEX area, we're able to actually align it properly. All right. So I guess that would be all for now. Thank you guys for watching this video and uh, have a great day ahead. Bye-bye.